Norway's Jakob Ingebrigtsen took home a gold medal in the men's 5,000 meters at the Paris Olympics. We were able to get the data from his Coros Pace 3 watch that he wore during that race. Let's break it down based on that data. It was very much a tactical race from the get-go as the pace went out pretty slow and Jakob was very content just conserving his energy, staying in that middle, letting everyone else do all the work. Then Jakob decided to work his way up to the front after that first kilometer, not letting anyone break away, but still maintaining a pretty steady pace. The Ethiopians did much of that lead work from the front, however, as it inched closer to 3K, you could see that the pace was starting to pick up a little bit and Jakob was starting to cover moves that were being made as people were jostling for position. For the first 1K to 3K, Jakob averaged 176 beats per minute for his heart rate with a max heart rate of 181. However, it wasn't until the final mile that we started to see that pace really quicken as we saw Ethiopia's Hagos Gebrehawet go to the front and really try to push the pace. However, Jakob wanted to stay in contention for those medals, so he kept contact. And you can see this evident in his Coros data as his heart rate did go up slightly, his cadence started to quicken too. And then with 600 meters to go, it was Gebra Haywat of Ethiopia that decided to really put a surge on the field, really go for that gold. But Jakob maintained position, he moved up into that third spot, and then with the bell lap, it was really just a sprint to the finish. Jakob with 200 meters to go, caught up, got in the lead, and then over those final 200 meters, it was just Jakob sprinting to gold finishing with that win in 13-13-66. And you can see that it was definitely a sprint to the finish over that final bell lap because his cadence quickened, that was the highest it was over the course of the entire race. Looking at the data recorded by his Coros Pace 3 watch during that race, he had an average heart rate of 174 beats per minute. It reached a maximum of 183 BPM, and then he had an average cadence of 191. And that was all en route to his first Olympic gold in that 5,000 meters of his career. He's won three straight global championships at this event, but this was his first one at the Olympic Games. And this all came after he had already finished fourth in the 1,500 meter final, and had already run the semifinal and the first round of that event, as well as the first round of the 5,000 meters. Again, not much of a surprise to see him win this event since he had already won so many championships. But perhaps the best stat came at the very end as Jakob was able to ring the victory bell. His heart rate spiked up to 161 beats per minute as he was able to soak in the gold medal moment.